Friends, welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, India. This is a cataract with retinitis pigmentosa. You can see the dark grayish reflex because of retinitis pigmentosa. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us observe the surgical steps. The main incision has been placed. Viscoelastic substance has been injected into the entry chamber. And now, one paracentesis incision is being made on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away from the main incision. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. The capsule is incised with a 26 gauge bent needle. A tata forceps is taken and a continuous covilinear capsulorexis is performed with the help of this instrument. If you keep an upward thrust on the anterior leaf of the main incision, leakage of viscoelastic substance will be very minimal. Hydro dissection is then done. Now see what happens. As you do hydro dissection and hydro delineation and some more hydro dissection on the other side, see that the lens tilts and it is the equatorial region of the right side is towards the posterior capsule and the equator of the left side is towards the corneal endothelium. If it tilts, it is fine. I don't attempt to push it back into the capsular bag. What I do is just what I call my lens tilt technique. Just go into the eye with the teeth facing the nuclear mass and start cutting this supracapsular portion of the nucleus and then just eat off the rest of the nucleus. That's it. The nucleus is managed and with the help of vacuum and no ultrasonic energy. The epinucleus is brought into the center of the anterior chamber and it is sucked out. And now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Since there is only one side port, I have planned to use a direct 23 gauge Simcoe cannula in this case. Here it is. And with the help of this instrument, and with only one side port, you can very well manage cortical cleanup. You can see the posterior capsule is too lax. It is because of genular weakness. Techniques other than this lens tilt technique would have been very dangerous in this case with lax genule and trampolining posterior capsule. Hydro polish of the posterior capsule is being done with the help of irrigating jet of fluid. And then in this case, a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens has been selected for implantation in the capsular bag. Nice polishing of the posterior capsule is possible with just the fluid jet. Now here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic goes into the bag just by a gentle push of the irrigating probe. The lens is in the bag now. And now, little bit of moxifloxacin is injected over the lens. The side port is 
hydrated the stroma on either side of this stab wound is hydrated and this stab wound closes and next this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out at this final lavage and now check the wounds this is a cotton tipped Johnson but I find that there is no leakage of fluid but as I felt the intraocular pressure it appeared quite low to me so how I am making the intraocular pressure higher just watch irrigating the side port and only one fluid jet goes into the eye and that's it the intraocular pressure is okay now thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be better and do better